Rising above the old city of Jerusalem, Al-Aqsa Mosque, Muslims believe that the Prophet Muhammad was transported to Jerusalem from Mecca, and this is the place from which he ascended to heaven. It's the third holiest site in Islam, which is why it's particularly important for Muslims to pray here during the month of Ramadan. The whole site is controlled by the Waqf, an Islamic trust, but Israeli security forces decide who can and cannot enter. Muslim citizens of Israel and residents of East Jerusalem are allowed to come and pray, but there are severe restrictions on access for Palestinians living in the occupied territories, even during Ramadan. Our people in Gaza are forbidden from coming because they don't have permits. There are many people who can hear the Muazzin, but they cannot come to pray because of the separation wall. The mosque dates back to the 7th century. Over the years it has been destroyed and rebuilt, renovated and extended. This house of prayer can hold up to 5,000 worshippers, and during Ramadan, thousands more pray outside. And so as the sun sinks beneath the horizon, the people of Jerusalem prepare to break their fast. And one place where they can take their iftar is here at Al-Aqsa. Hundreds of iftar meals are served every night during Ramadan. The food is provided by an Islamic charity. A moment of prayer before people dash for the food. It's been a long, hot day of fasting. People are both hungry and dehydrated. As the evening stretches out, thousands more Muslims come to share the Ramadan atmosphere. For an old person, this is a religious site. For a young person, this is a playground. For an art historian like me, this is a masterpiece of architecture. People have come from far and wide. Some have taken considerable risks to get here, defying Israeli restrictions and sneaking under the separation wall. Anyone from West Bank in my age can't come here at this moment. So how did you get here? Oh yeah, it's a really a big uh, deal and it was a dangerous way. I've been in uh, America for the past five years in Texas and we're just now coming here to play in the Aqsa for uh, Ramadan. It's one of the best places to be for us religiously at this time. As Ramadan draws to a close, Palestinians in Jerusalem are glad that they've been able to spend time at Al-Aqsa with their families. But they're also aware that tens of thousands of others were prevented from sharing this important religious and cultural experience. Jackie Rowland, Al Jazeera, at Al-Aqsa Mosque in Jerusalem.